guys welcome back to world illuminate 11 on this tuesday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here so yesterday i shared a blog post that i wrote a post that i wrote um over the weekend which was entitled the making of the twin flame divine feminine and i got a really beautiful message from one of our beautiful divine feminines who said that you know the blog post really resonated with her journey and she said she was actually there in tears because you know it really related to her journey so much and that really touched my heart and you know and I just wanted to say the reason why I've started writing these posts and you know I will be writing more as time goes on it's it's really because it's to put light to give light on the journey itself and also to help and support and encourage um, other divine feminines on this journey because you know that we all need that support and encouragement on this journey it is also to help the divine masculines you know because both divine masculines and divine feminines are in on this journey together so that is why I'm, I'm doing this and you know that's why i love doing this channel as well to help give that support and encouragement to everyone on this journey because we all do need it on this journey so if you haven't checked that out do check it out it sort of starts off talking about you know the the separation the pain that the divine feminine goes through on this during the separation and then but that's not what the uh, the blog is about the blog is about you know it and because that is goes in the past it's about how the divine feminine rises and you know the power within the divine feminine and how strong she realizes and, and that she is as she grows on this journey as you know as she goes through all the different phases of this journey so it is about giving that strength and power and for anyone who may be going through the tough time at this time this is showing you that you know you will be able to rise you will be able to move come out of it feeling much stronger and wiser as well and you know it is a journey that is helping you to become the greatest version of yourself so do check out uh the the post i will put the link in the description below again today and what i'm going to do today i'm just going to do a few cards just really quickly Actually, i always say that and then it ends up getting a bit longer but quickly and um and i'm using the um the daily crystal inspiration um card this is the daily crystal inspiration card so daily crystal inspiration cards and also the crystal unicorn tarot and i'm just checking in to see what's going on with the divine masculines and the divine feminines today and then after that i'm going to do another video because i received my deck which i used on uh, the channel yesterday so i'm going to do um like like a deck walkthrough with 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 that deck but it's actually also a reading in itself because it is really showing the different things that the divine feminine learns on their journey you know and how they also become stronger on the journey what you know the things that they actually realize about the journey as they move on this journey so in that is a reading in itself but i just wanted to come on and just check in with the angels to see what is going on with the divine masculines on this day and the divine feminine so thank you angels what is going on with the divine masculines on this day okay and thank you angels what's going on with the divine feminines on this day what is happening with the divine feminines thank you angels what is going on with the divine feminines on this day right so let's have a look and see and then i will actually just do the crystal daily crystal inspiration as well thank you angels what is going on with the divine masculines on this day what is happening with the divine masculines okay and with the divine feminines okay there we go so let's have a look and see so what is happening with the divine masculines today so the first card that came out for the divine masculines wow so the first card that came out is the four of wands and this is showing that the divine this is about building a foundation you know so you can see those two unicorns there this is sort of like you and your divine masculine uh building a foundation on this journey foundation for your future for your union together so you may be working a separate doing things you know in uh, you know you're doing your thing they're doing their thing on the 3d but on you know in reality on the 5 
5D, you are both building a foundation for, and a strong foundation as well it is for, you know, for the uh, the life that you're going to have together. So really beautiful. And then the next card that came out for the Divine Masculine is the Hierophant. And so this is showing that, you know, they are um, on their spiritual journey. They're working towards, you know, um, getting into their mission, which is all part of, you know, their spiritual journey, but they may also be calling on, you know, other people who are sort of like spiritual leaders or people that can help them to understand what this journey is about. So, you know, they are sort of going on to their sort of spiritual side of the, of the, of the journey. So, you know, that's really beautiful showing that they are working towards, you know, that mission towards which involves their being with their divine feminine. And the next card that came out, really great cards is the the magician so your divine masculine is becoming the magician of of their life you know they are really so they they have sort of gifts within them as well that are there for them to bring out to the world so you know they're working on finding out what these things are they are finding out more about themselves and they're bringing out all those gifts that are within them so that they can be able to use them you know to make the world a better place so you know they are becoming the magician of their life they are also giving out you know the they are the giving out the thoughts of the things that they truly desire to the universe and calling upon the angels and the universe to bring in the things that they truly desire so they are bringing in that life that they truly desire with their divine feminine and the next card that came out for the divine masculines wow is the strength card so this is showing that the divine masculines are really getting to this place of you know because they are working on themselves and on their spiritual side of things they are getting to this place of actually becoming more compassionate and more understanding on their own journey you know because that is those are the qualities that they really do actually need to bring in to their union with their divine feminine so they're working on releasing the fears and you know bec becoming having more strength in their own person so that they can be able to move forward as well towards their divine feminine and then the next card that came out for the divine masculines is the star so this is showing that there is hope for the future for the divine masculines you know they are feeling hopeful as well about the things that they want to bring in with their divine feminine so they are creating their life they are sending out those uh thoughts about the things that they want to bring in and you know they are having hope that the things that they truly desire their union as well with their divine feminine that those things will be coming into their life so really really beautiful and the next card that came out is the hermit so you know if you haven't heard from your divine masculine they are sort of going within they're working on their spiritual side of things as well you know we've got the hierophant coming in so you know they are finding the answers they are really working towards bringing in the things that they truly desire they're finding the answers about the gifts that they really have so that they can be able to bring in those things and you know in, into the world and be able to help uh as they work on their mission as well so you know they are going within they are really working on sort of bringing out the spiritual side of them so that they can be able to be mo to move forward towards their divine feminine so really really beautiful cards for the divine masculines there and the next card that came out and, and then the cards that came out for the divine feminine so the first card that came out is the three of pentacles for the divine feminine so this is sort of about recognition you know you can see those um those two unicorns there sort of showing something to to that other unicorn so this is about recognition for the work that you are putting in divine feminine into your journey the things that you are actually be doing for yourself you know the way you are loving yourself you are actually being recognized for these things that you are doing the universe and the angels are saying they realize how much you are working hard on yourself so you are getting recognition for the things that you're doing and the next card that came out for the divine feminine is the nine of cups and this is about the wish card 
God. This is the wish card. So, you know, this is about you. Your wishes are coming true, basically. This is the message that's coming through from the angels. It's like, you know, you are working hard on yourself. You are being recognized for the efforts that you're putting in and your wishes are coming true. So, you know, the things that you truly desire are coming into your life because, the you know, you are being recognized for that effort. And the, so just keep, you know, wishing for what you truly desire because your wishes are coming true is the message that's coming through. So really, really beautiful. And the next card that came out for the Divine Feminines is the Lover's card. So this is the love that, you know, you know that you and your Divine Masculine have got this beautiful Divine love, you know, and uh, and you can see that there's that sort of bigger unicorn there showing that, you know, it's a Divine love and there is that sun there showing that there's a lot of happiness so that will come into your life with your Divine Masculine because, you know, the wishes that you have you know are coming true so you know just be in this place of being joyful because you know that love is coming into your life and you will be able to have that time to spend with your divine masculine because you know this is what your future is all about so really really beautiful and the last cards that came out for the divine feminines is the world and this this is really uh beautiful and the world is actually 21 and you know number 21 it's in roman numerals there but it's it's 21 and we are in 2021. So this is showing you that your worlds, you know, you are going to have the worlds, the things that you truly desire, which is all about happiness and, you know, completion and, and so the things that you truly desire, things are happening this 2021. Your wishes are coming true. So, you know, just stay focused on yourself and keep working on yourself because it is helping, you know, you are being recognized for all those efforts that you are bringing in and the things that you truly desire. You are going to have your world. All those things are coming and all these things are starting to happen this 2021. So really, really beautiful. And the cards that came out for inspiration for the divine masculines the first uh, the first card that came out is celestite and it says soothe your soul so this is for the divine masculines and this is them wanting to soothe their soul and they do that you know by getting to be with their divine feminine because you are one soul and when that one soul comes back together then it's like soothing their soul so they that's what they're thinking about they want to get to this place where they soothe their soul by coming back to being with their divine feminine and you know the angels are also saying to them soothe your soul by moving forward towards the things that you truly desire in your life and you know and part of that is working on themselves and bringing in the things that they want to bring into their lives and also working towards being with their divine feminine so really beautiful and then the last card that then the cards that other cards that came out is amazonite for the divine masculines and it says loosen your grip so this is about them letting go and, you know, trusting in divine timing, trusting in their angels and their spirit guides and not trying to force things too much and trusting and letting go and surrendering to this journey as well. Because, you know, the, as the divine feminine has to surrender to this journey and trusting in the divine and in the angels and, you know, and in this journey, the divine masculines need to let, have to let go of control as well and loosen their grip and uh, of trying to force things to happen in a certain way and you know and they just also need to surrender so that's the cards that's coming through for them to loosen their grip and then the cards that came out for the divine feminines the first card is ocean jasper and it says schedule yourself in so divine feminine you know if you are really busy doing other things the angels are saying like working on your mission and your career and stuff, the angels are saying, always remember to schedule yourself in. And, you know, you, things can get busy, especially right now, there's this energy of moving things forward when it comes to the things that you're working on, as I was saying yesterday. So the message is remember to always schedule your, yourself in because, you know, self-love is really important on this journey. And the last card that came out is Jade. And for the divine feminine and is be, be the bigger person. So whatever you in everything that you do, divine feminine, you know, it's about not getting into conflict with people. It's about just realizing that, you know, by being the bigger person, you actually 
become, you know, you actually make your life easier in a way by walking away from people who may be, have been in neg causing negativity in your life or situations, you know, it's about you just sort of being the bigger person. And, you know, if you, someone is trying to argue with you or whatever, just let them get on with it and just walk away and be that bigger person because it really does help you to stay in this place of just being in positivity and to have peace in, in your life. So those are the messages that are coming through. So I will see you on the next video, guys. Really beautiful messages. Things are moving forward. And, you know, Divine Feminine, just continue to stay focused on yourself and just working on yourself and the things that you're bringing in. Because, you know, the world, you are going to have the world. And things are moving forward towards you having this world in this 2021. So I will see you on the next video guys love peace positivity and light